Good morning, you beautiful people. I had to put my rain jacket on. It's starting to sprinkle out a little bit. Good morning, piggies. You enjoying all that stray? Stray. Straw and hay. I was trying to combine the two words together. Gives you something a little bit more to do, huh? Chops. What are you doing? We're hoping to get the baby goats outside today for the first time. But it depends on what weather forecast you look at. One of them says 70, and one of them says 70 in thunderstorms and half inch of rain. So, we'll see what happens today. Good morning, Hope. I hear you. I hear you, Hope. <laughs> Hope a dopey. You girls want some alfalfa pellets? Awesome. Willow being the herd boss does not like being the last one fed. Come on in. The baby goats are chewing on the tripod. You can't see them. There you go. We'll give you some milk made. A little bit of grain. I'll help, I hear ya. Checking out the tripod. What are you doing? Huh, what are you doing? What do you think of the tripod, huh? You trying to get some alfalfa pellets there, little pea? Huh? You trying to get that from Mama? Good morning. Keeping a little dish of water in here for the babies, but Willow keeps drinking all the water out of it. You gonna have some little pee? If you got it, you better drink it before Mom gets it. Water and you go. No, not quite sure yet. All right, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that we don't get much rain today and it warms up. We'll let you all outside. New York City bound there, Tan Man. That green grass looks so beautiful. Uh. Morning ducks. Uh, there's just something about seeing chickens on fresh grass that makes my soul sing. <laughs> I love seeing that. You guys living large? Large and in charge? Whoops. We got the two feeders going and most of them still choose to eat out of the first one.
I found the meat birds be drinking anywhere from one gallon to four gallons of water a day in the new water. They're loving it, guys. Ah, the cauliflower. No, this is the broccoli. The broccoli has started to sprout already. Give it some more water. All of our other plants are doing really well. This right here is the cauliflower and then string beans. These guys are doing amazing. Give them a little drink. I think the tomato plants are wishing it was a little bit more sunny out lately. I think they would, could use that, but. Matter, little pea, little man. They're scared. That noise from the coming. <laughs> oh, so funny. What's the matter? You don't know what to think. <laughs> nope. That's, that is funny. That's that slippery for him. Right. Gonna put some gripper on there. I got some like sandpaper grip tape. But I need you to get out of my way, goats. Let's do it in that one spot. I'm gonna do it there too. I was gonna bring a spool in, but I didn't want one of the ones with they could eat the grippy stuff out. Oh, somebody pooped. Well, you're already pooping there. You crazy goats.
just enough left over. For me, it will be enough to cover my holes. I'll have to bring my screw gun down and pick this up first. Too heavy. Don't try escape. You kiddos coming out? Are you hiding and napping in your corner? Where are you? Are you in your corner? Come on out. I got the ramp fixed up for you. You like being able to come out of the fresh air now, Willow? Yeah, those two. They're a little log that will sit here for a couple. Are you speaking goat or what? He's beating on his little Listen sister. He likes sticking his tongue out. What do you think of that? She's like, oh no, what am I supposed to do now? Oh. Up here. Oh, fun, she said. What's that? She said, oh, fun, let me do that again. Hope, what are you doing? Put your head back for Coming to see everybody? We should put chicken fence right there. You coming to see everybody? You're crazy. Are you going to go up there now, Lil P? We have to count names of the other ones. The only reason she's got a name is because she's got like a puzzle piece on her back. We can't have any escape babies. Like that. So now we won't have any escape babies. Or hope. Or hope getting their heads stuck. To see what's going on over here. Yeah. yeah. There, that should keep hope on that side and the baby goats on this side. Thank you. You're welcome. That's from some rabbit cages that we have. Goat heaven. Goat heaven. Right, this is where we're gonna find you most of the time now. On the goat steps. Oh, he's loving me. He is. They're probably ready for a nap. This is the most excitement they've had in their whole life. Can you call them like a dog? Come here. You thirsty little man? It goes from being cold and rainy this morning to 76 degrees out. Yep. I get to have shorts on. Look at you. Does it feel nice? Yes. Yeah. Tanner, I don't think you've ever seen it this warm before, have you? The chickens are hiding in the shade. Yeah, no, oh, I was going to tell you that. There's a brown chicken out. 
Yeah, one of the well summers is out. Another escaped chicken. But the crazy white chicken's inside New York City. You enjoying the shade? Get the chicken, Tanner. Good job, Tanner. The only good thing about having Tanner is I'll probably think twice about escaping again. Yeah. Come on, guys, to the house. Special delivery. What the heck? You going crazy, little pea? I should get your dog to come Yeah, Levy's did the eggs with me. We got a banana in my pocket. We got to give the goats, or hope today, her copper bolus, and the other goats will give them some banana. Try to get. This is this is Hope's first. Hope's first time of getting copper bolus, correct? We gotta give her one gram today. So let's get the two other girls out. Come on. Alright, we're going in the car. We'll get Hope a little banana. She's hungry, she's eating my shorts. Okay. This is two grams, so I need to take half of this. Here, I hope can't get it. Willow, we'll give you some too. Well, not bolus, but banana. Oh, don't eat that. You got it? So, copper bolus is just pieces of copper. Goats need copper in their diet. And our soil doesn't have it. Come here, Hope. Hope. Come here. Hope doesn't really know what to do with treats, I think. She doesn't know what to do with treats yet. We try. She's kind of slow. And the other girls eat them on her first. You don't want banana? Come on. You know you do. You just... The other girls would have ate that in two seconds. Don't even know what it is. How do you not want that? It's supposed to be really good for you. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, Hope. <laughs> no, nope. oh. you don't want it? You just want to be with us? Will you please eat it?
This is so good. It has to be without peppers in the meat. Sounds like hopes right there. Hope you're hungry there, pork and chops. You ready for some grub? Mmm, some cantaloupe, some watermelon, all good stuff. Oh, and here comes the crazy white chicken. She wants in. <laughs> well, it's raining cats and dogs now, holy moly. Look at all those puddles. Ah! Boy, is it coming down! <sighs> Look at this, guys. <sighs> I want to set up the goats. <laughs> Make sure that door is closed oh, so they're not getting too wet. It was drying up nicely and they were supposed to start coming maybe tomorrow to do some dirt work for the new barn. I don't know if that'll happen now. You being good in there, Mama? All right. You couldn't see in there, it was too dark. But Willow is bedded down nicely with her babies. Guys, look at that. What is going on? Look at all that water. Look at that. They're calling for like two inches tonight. I'm just checking to see if there's any particular area that we're getting water off the roofs down here from or what, because, man, look at this. We have a high spot here, which I talked to the guys who are going to be doing the dirt work, and we're going to get this high spot done. But this is just... I don't know what's going on. The chickens are still out. <laughs> really? Oh, we got three, four, five chickens still out. So we're not locking up New York City. I had gotten the phone call probably about an hour or two before it started raining saying that the guys bringing the gravel and doing the dirt work were gonna come tomorrow as long as the weather was good. So all this rain we're getting right now, I don't know if they'll show up tomorrow and if they do, if we'll be able to do any work. So we'll cross our fingers and hopefully tomorrow we can start the first phase of getting the barn put in. Thanks guys for coming along on our journey with us. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And remember, not all storms come to disrupt our life. Some come to clear our paths. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.